Welcome back everybody to Feathers Fish and Tackle. Today is going to be kind of a shorter little video. Um, going to be making three types of baits today. Um, one color done up hundreds of times. Uh, it's going to be a black and blue Cinco. So that's nothing impressive. The other two, I'm going to be making a my uh, kicker tail worm, uh, the seven and a half inch kicker tail. Um, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do with that one. I have an idea of what I want to do with that one. Uh, the other one I have yet to do. It's my creature bait, and I'm going to attempt sprayed grass. Um, <clears throat> customer that ordered these um wants the black and blue cinco's but with the kicker tail and the creature bait the stinger he kind of gave me a little free reign it's actually you know i know him he's a friend of mine um he just wants me to do whatever i want with the kicker tail and the creature bait so that's what i'm going to do I have not attempted sprayed grass i'm going to attempt sprayed grass um, the other one I'm thinking I've made it one other time, but I'm thinking about the kicker tail worm and the watermelon candy. So the, uh, plastic just got done, uh, in the microwave. I'm going to bring it over here, drop some glitter in it, and we'll get to start shooting some baits. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got our black plastic all heated up. Now, I'm going to be using the blue 035 flake and the 0 0.15. Um, I like to use the small glitter as well in my black and blue. And then... use my zero point or my point zero three five flake i'm gonna put a little two scoops of that around here just throw this up so y'all can see yeah <clears throat> now I already have this up to temp so we can go ahead and shoot this And again, these are my Cinco stick baits. Um, he only wants one pack of these, so these will do it right here. Um, gonna top these off, and then we'll get back with you with the other color. All right, so we got our plastic heated up. I'm going to be making the watermelon candy kicker tail worm. I got my dark watermelon here. So we're going to add about, this is a little over a cup. So that was about 20 to 22 drops. Uh, 
and I'm actually going to probably add three more, so 25. Next, we are going to add our purple flake. This is my 0 .035 purple. I'm going to add about a scoop and a half. This is my uh, quarter teaspoon. Next, I'm going to add my 0 .035 green. And again, full scoop. And then about a half a scoop. Next, I'm going to add my medium flake of my black same thing full scoop half scoop bring this up here so y'all can see this get stirred in Does that not look good? So I'm going to pop this back in the microwave uh, for a little bit, get it back up to temperature, and we'll meet you back here. All right, so this is out of the microwave. It is up to temperature. Um, you stir it, you hit it with the heat gun about 320 degrees with this plastic um, it's the dead-on plastic worm blend and this you can shoot at 320 I like to start keep it hot make sure to always fill up your runners and your sprue um, this one you really don't have to worry about too much of filling it multiple times uh, it's just like my Cinco it gets smaller towards the tail of the bait so you really just got to worry about the head feeling. Make sure that no air gets in it. So I always like to let it go down a little more. And then just top it off like that. So I will put this back in the microwave. Keep it hot. And we'll do the second round of these. Alright, went ahead. Took the first ones out. I'm going to give this a quick stir. I should be wearing a glove, but I do it enough to know how not to burn myself. But if you're doing this for the first time, please always wear a glove. This is extremely hot. You get it up to 350. If you're not paying attention, you can get it up even hotter, and you do not want to burn yourself with... 350 plus degree hot plastic. So, always wear gloves. I already got the first run out. It's over there in the bath. Um, so I will show you these here in a little bit. 
All right, so I figured while we're waiting on the kicker tail to get done, I'm gonna do some bonus base here. Um, this is my stinger creature bait, and this is my crawl. Um, these are going to be a little softer than I want because this, like I said, this is just worm blend. But these are just going to go in my own personal tackle box. So I am not worried about it. They're just going to be a little softer and they'll just tear up a little more. Top off these. And might as well since these are shot. I'm going to open my kicker tail and show y'all what we got and here you go these are the kicker tail worm so we're gonna wait for these to cool down and we'll get right back at it all right, everyone, I went ahead and shot some more of these, and I'm going to go ahead and show these to you. These are the Stingers and the Watermelon Candy. This is – come on now. This is the crawl. And I had just enough plastic to run another watermelon candy in my kicker tail. So like I said, these are just going in my own personal tackle box. So, but they, um, if you do want any of these, uh, the link in the description will go to my email. You can message me on there if you want any of these. Um, everything that I show on here will be for sale anyways. Let's take all these off now. Like I said before, save your runners, save your sprues. Because you can always remelt just to get a little more out of your plastic. All right, there you go. So the next color up will be our sprayed grass. And that one, I hope I do it justice, but we will see. All right, everyone, I got my plastic heated up here. So for this color, it looks like there is like a smoked charcoal with some purple flake. And then the other side, because this is a laminate, is a watermelon with blue. So we're going to start with the charcoal gray, which I've made like a charcoal, which you got to be careful. All right, that is six drops of black, which you can see it on the knife. That is all it is right there. And like I said, it gets 
some purple flake which we're going to load it up so that is two quarter teaspoons of purple I want it to really pop you know what I'm going to add about a half a scoop more That's looking good. Now, this side is going to get some watermelon, which it is very translucent. It's very see-through. So, so we are going to stop at 10 drops of the watermelon and with the watermelon we are going to be adding real little the 0 0.015 blue and I'm going to add Two scoops of that. Ooh, that looks good. All right, so I'm going to pop these in the microwave, get them to an even temperature. Because like I said, these are a laminate. So you want them to be at a very even temperature. So let's pop these back in the microwave and we'll get right back at it. Alright, we got our plastic out. They are at a good even temperature. And the way I'm going to do this is the green's going to be on the bottom. The Charcoal is going to be on the top. That's what it's going to look like. Now when you are filling up your runner again, you can use whichever color, it don't matter, it's on the top. But I'm going to use the charcoal. Just a little bit. So I'm going to put these back into the microwave get them heated up and we'll get these out and then shoot another round all right we got our plastic heated back up it is time to inject get your dual injector fill it up come over here And inject. This mold really don't take a lot of plastic, but you want to hold pressure to get that laminate even. All right, we'll let this sit, and I'll show you the end result. 
All right, it is time to unveil our sprayed grass. Ooh, look at that. That is our charcoal and purple side. And that is our watermelon and blue side. All right, let me get these in the bath and I will get back to you with a full shot of what we did. Okay, everybody, so here is a full shot of everything we did. Here is the sprayed grass stingers. These are the black and blue Cinco's. Everybody knows these by heart. These are the watermelon candy crawls. The watermelon candy stingers. And then the watermelon candy kicker tail worms. So there's a full shot of everything we did today. And like I said, if you want to purchase any of these, just shoot me an email. All right, everybody, that wraps up today's video. We made uh, some cool looking baits, made sprayed grass for the first time ever. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, so, like I said, all of these, uh, if you want any of these, please feel free to email me at feathersfishingtackle at gmail.com. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. Um, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button hit that notification bell to for y'all to know whenever I post a new video um, and in the comments let me know again um, what do you want me to do next let me know in the comments below and till next time y'all go catch some fish